Texas, but guys. first, Textot has asked designers of the New Harbor Bridge to suspend all design activities of that bridge project. So what does that mean? This is a developing story for us. We turn out to my co-anchor, Paulo Salazar, to explain what this means for all of us. Paulo? Well, Katia, the discussion is surrounding the Fig Bridge Group, which designed the new Harbor Bridge. And they were the same group that designed a pedestrian bridge at a Florida university, which collapsed in March of 2018, killing there, six Look. people. Look. Now, according to the Texas Department of Transportation, they have there. been suspended as of late this evening. TxDOT released this statement after several of our calls, and it reads in part, the Texas Department of Transportation continues to fully review the recent findings by the National Transportation Safety Board for applicability to TxDOT projects. Now, during this review, TxDOT has asked Flatiron Dragados, LLC, see the developers of the Harbor Bridge replacement project to suspend design activities on the Harbor Bridge project. Now, the FIG group was recently found liable by the National Transportation Safety Board for that pedestrian bridge collapse, which happened at Florida Atlantic University. Florida and, Atlantic. Katia, the information regarding the suspended design activities was just made available late this evening. So at this time, it's unclear what it'll mean for the Harbor Bridge project moving forward. Right. So many questions and uh, follow-up, of course. So keep it right here on Chris 6 News. Paulo, thank you for that. The guy must live under a shell, right? Under, under a rock? To not know it's uh, Florida Liberty International University? Points to corporate we call it Florida the and Atlantic University. So that's a reporter that's not even with the damn program doing a stuff, uh, doing the, the release of this. Florida Atlantic <laughs> University. What a clown. All right, so I got to do the narrative about that. Remember, this is a how you do um, how I present for uh, fair use reasons. That's federal reasons, rather. Uh, the Texas Department of Transportation released a statement Thursday, evening confirming design of the New Harbor Bridge has been suspended. And as you saw that, they, they alluded to that uh, related to FIG being part of the project indirectly or directly, obviously directly, even though it's indirectly, um, not having the initial contract. So the, uh, as far as I understand, I did search this. I've gone on to Twitter and trying to find more details. This is about, as, it's about the best I can find right now, that this release here. So this is one of the best sources at this point. Um, so the, the release comes uh, after, Chris, after Chris Communications. So Chris is this um, awesome release here. Made inquiries into the reports of the FIG Bridge Group. The firm charged with designing the New Harbor Bridge had been removed from the project. All right, so um, the so the, they're saying the fig is charged of the design, but the contractor. Hold on, I, I thought they said they would design and build this other one. Let me read it. Uh, February, November fourteenth. In response to an inquiry by Chris, the Texas Department of Transportation today released the following statement regarding the Harbor Bridge replacement project. So it's interesting. Uh, they they this is a Texas Department release. And um, they're adding <clears throat> this, in this in this statement. Uh, the Texas Department of Transportation, Texas, DOT, continues to fully review the, the recent findings by the National Transportation Safety Board for applicability to TxDOT projects, meaning how does that apply to our projects is what I extrapolate from this, and meaning, um, well, it would be everybody related to that. And in this case, it would be FIG. During this review, TxDOT has asked uh, Flat Tehran, whatever, Dragos, Dragon, Dragon, Dragonus, Dragonus, nah. LLC, the developer of the Harbor Bridge project, project, replacement project, to suspend design activities on the Harbor Bridge project. See, I understand them to be lead, and fig to be uh, underneath of them. Safety is always TxDOT's top priority, and we have been closely reviewing the design and construction activities since the inception of the project and we continue to do so. Looks like they're going to cut their losses with this fig, which is the smartest thing Texas can do. Now we need Massachusetts to do it. We need Massachusetts to step up and let it go also. So even though I'm going to um, title this with fig in Texas, I'm going to try Massachusetts, Massachusetts into it next. Uh, the Texas Department of Transportation, TxDOT, continues to fully review the recent findings of the National Transportation Board, right? There is no word on how long design is supposed to be suspended. The FIG 
Uh, Bridge Group has. You can pause and read the rest if you want to, but I, I don't. Need, I don't need to read the rest because you can pause it, and I don't want to read the rest because of fair use. The Fig Bridge Group also designed the pedestrian bridge of Florida International University that collapsed in March 2018, killing six people. So the the quotes up the quotes up here and stops there. This is now um, Chris saying this. Last month the national NTSB we know about that, and I spent a three hour video on that. But, uh, okay, and that's their, their rendering of why it failed. But more importantly, um, FIG is now status non gratis in Texas. That is the awesomest thing ever. FIG is status non gratis in Texas. Beautiful. Keep it up. All right, guys, I'm going to jump back over here. I, I don't know if I said Massachusetts or Connecticut to you guys. I just took a pause, but I, I thought I might have said Mass. Um, Connecticut is the uh, where their Oregani Bridge is. Oregani, I'm pronouncing it correct, correctly. And here's the project number 0082-0312. As we come up to uh, right, right here in the background now, project number 82312 and 82320. Uh, one's the approach and one's the uh, bridge. Uh, itself, I believe these two, these two here, and I think this is the well. Would that be the approach? This might be the approach here. The approaches, nevertheless, on June nineteenth, Fig Bridge Engineering, um, it was as a consulting selection. It, now they didn't award it, award it yet, as far as I know. I'm trying to confirm if they were awarded yet or not. So I'm going to fire off to the engineer down um, in Connecticut again, see if it was awarded. If so. I'm going to get the details on it, including the amounts. Uh, I'm going to fire that off in just a few minutes. But the uh, fig is right here. Let me go ahead and bounce you to give you a four dot four where figs doing with where figs deal is 2015. So the dates there, these are old. So don't get it, don't get confused. I'm going to show you again 16, and here is 17. Different numbers, project numbers. Coming back to this again, we got June 19th. But uh, we everything went um, salty uh, soon thereafter. Everybody got up. On, uh, some people got up an arm. I know I did. A little uh, um, got carried away with uh, with what they did. You know, got carried away as an upset about it. Carried away, meaning uh, seduced into this drama of Fig still being allowed to uh, perform in such a capacity. When they can't even evaluate their own structure, so Fig can't even evaluate their own structure for cracks and and what they, what it means. How are they going to go to this bridge and evaluate what's going on, especially with the same people in tow, the same crew? So how could you trust them? Well, Texas obviously said no way. Now we need Connecticut to say no way. We can't trust them either. We just saw what Connecticut, Texas did. Why are we doing that? If they go through with it, then they've got some. Reasoning and logic that doesn't seem uh, anything besides uh, purchased, I mean, you know, payoff. And just for you guys want to know, this is the uh, consultant selection list 2019. You look to the right. So if any of you guys, engineers, contractors out there, this is where you find a good lead. If you guys want to know if you want to get a job, you track these people down. You would know where they're going. And you try to get onto the job site. You know, try to get all the... Uh, the engineers, the head companies here, and see what see what you can do for them. Just wanted to share that with any engineers that are jumping in here. But you got to be aggressive. You got to have some confidence about you and some and some knowledge, right, to to get on here. But act like you know, get get yourself together and do it. So now we come over here as of eleven thirteen. Due date was eleven thirteen, which was yesterday. Invitation to bid on zero zero eight zero three one two. And that would be the approaches, as you look at this down here. Um, and postpone the addendums, amendments, et cetera, you know, bouncing around. There's five of them, I think. Uh, postponement number five. Um, hopefully, this is not very clear to me at this point. This Hopefully, this means they're bouncing something, but it could be, uh, it could be just what they said. But hopefully, they're bouncing fig out of this deal. Um, Okay, let me see if I can get you something else. So in the spirit of teaching you guys how to find work, you engineers out there, 
and contractors. Well, here are the uh, the contractors that are approved um, bid list. And so you would track down these companies as an engineer or a contractor and see if you can do some sub work for them, depending if they get the, the load, get the job. But you'd uh, these are the main players on that uh, particular job. So if you happen to be close, you can hit, hit them up. There's your Mass. There's your Connecticut. You can see people in Mass jump over jump over to Connecticut, and vice versa. But for that neck of the woods, there you guys go. So for my engineers out there, you guys familiar with Bid, Bid Express? Come over to Bid Express. You also uh, type in different locations, and you get the uh, you know what's going on. And for you guys that are subcontractor engineers out there, you get yourself tied into one of these deals. You have to, you know, work your way in there. Say hello. You can't do it. Nobody's going to come knocking at your door, perhaps, but I doubt it. You got to get moving. And so you see what's going on here under Bid Express is quite detailed, nice information that links links out of here, etc. I won't bother clicking links, just gift sharing with you guys. So these are the uh, current as-built um, that are uh, out there for uh, from Connecticut DOT. That's the source. Now the uh, you can see this is where Fig uh, Engineering is trying to jump on both the approaches and also the two-span bridges and the approach again here. So those are your approaches, two spans. It's wants to be supervising all of this repairs and again how, how does that make them how is that even possible somebody would consider them when they couldn't even evaluate their own structure how's that possible that they wouldn't know how to evaluate a crack in their own structure said I don't need I mean that was their words I don't know how it got we don't know how that cracks happened and it's their structure brand new from scratch their baby if you will 100% their baby I don't have to add if you will there do I but they drop the ball, screw it up, and kill people. Now, Connecticut is considering, you know, is has got them as number one, rather, on their list, you know, as of when I last spoke. Now, I'm going to write them tonight and see how that works out current day. And this is one of them, that, one of the Dodge reports saying its uh, valuation is $40 million. I have the, uh, the true numbers, uh, that I, I'm going to load it up for you guys. I've got a lot of data from uh, um, Connecticut, CDT dot. Uh, 